Right then, onto a customer's car. It's been a while since I've done one, but it's about time. So this is Andrew's Fabia Monte Carlo. He's had it for a while, racing the uh, Superlap Scotland. So it gets quite a little bit of track driving. his sticker so there's that many on there I'm not sure uh, what's what more stickers and mods on his car I know that for sure and he's got a lot of mods so basically he's been running around with a, a 170 turbo on there the PD uh, CR 170 turbo which we sell that as like a 175 upgrade for these which so they normally do out for 165 to 175 he thought this had 200 we put it on our dyno, it did 170, so it was where we expected it to be. So we've ripped it to bits and done absolutely tons of mods. So we'll have a quick look at that, then we'll have a quick run around the car at what he's got, what he's already done to it, and then uh, we'll get it on the dyno, see what power it does, then we'll get out on the road test if we can. So basically, the engine bay it looks not standard, but not too dissimilar obviously it's got the uh, AM dry flow filter there we've got our GTD 1752 VRK kit which is a manifold oil lines downpipe we've got the turbo inlet pipe that you can see which all fits with all nice standard breather stuff then we've put it's already got a two and a half inch exhaust which I'm not a big fan of how it sounds but anyway that will when it wore um, on the other table, see what it sounds like now. <clears throat> it's got our 57mm boost pipe kit on there, so our silicons and our aluminium pipes. It's got an oil cool, one of our oil coolers on there, which is what you need when you're uh, going to be pushing these quite hard on track. Obviously quite obvious, it's got the water injection kit on there, so that should uh, add a fair bit of power. At the expense of a bit of extra smoke on these, I'm not really a big fan of water meth on these, so they're already on the verge of smoking, but it is what it is. So, we've got to get the power out of these, you're stuck at about 180s, 190s on the standard injectors, and they're known to fail, so we upgrade some brand new ones to sort of 50% extra flow, and they drop in there, and there's... Uh, there's not tons more headroom in uh, in these one we've done with them, but if you go way too big, you're gonna have a lot of trouble trying to make them idle and make them run nice. So we try to not increase them any bigger than you really need. Um, internally, it's got head studs. That was just a bit of extra insurance for Andrew when he's pushing it hard on track. It's got ARP rod bolts, which again. That's the same thing. And while we've got the sump off, we change the oil and clean all the uh, screen on the oil pickup pipe. And it's also got a set of our upgraded cams on there, which the cams in these are the same as the two litres. But the profile on the 1.6 sort of pretty much exploits the majority of the, uh, the power that you're going to get from these engines. It's not a massive gain from doing them. It's not pointless, but it's not as crazy of a gain that you're going to get on the uh, on the two liters just because you've got a, a much smaller bore diameter and the valves are a lot smaller so they're, and they're still quite uh, shrouded so yeah it don't make as much difference intercooler it's got one of ours on as well i forgot to mention that it has got vibrotechnics mounts but you don't need them and um, then that's mainly another track thing put a new battery on because it would just not want it to start when we're flashing it and the gearbox it's still the standard five speed but we're wave tracking there which i've told andrew i think we're going to blow it up at some point or he'll blow it up at some point especially if he's doing big long drags in fifth gear which gears along in these cars so you, you probably don't need to use fifth on track but 
if you're on the motorway and you're trying to like, drag something fast, then uh, you might cause yourself a mischief. But we'll see what happens with that. So that is pretty much the engine. It's a very similar spec to Bobby's car. <laughs> Bobby's did two thirties without methanol and two fifty ish or thereabouts with a methanol. But I think it smoked too much on Bobby's, but we'll see what this does. See how much power we make out of it and uh, we'll go from there. But that's the engine. Obviously it's got our custom ECU tune on there. Uh, spec wise on the car, it's pretty much standard struts, H and R springs and an H and R. Um, anti rear anti-roll bar, I'll get my words out in a minute. And then he's just got these VRS spiders, which I like, these wheels are the same that we run on the City Go. At least I like them in the grey, I don't like them in the silver on the City Go, but that's a stealth. Um, and he's got Michelin Pilot Sport 4 tyres, on which they're a good tyre as well, so it, it should handle pretty well. It'd be nice if we're a bit lower. Um, some better shocks, maybe get some Bilstein B16s on there, or B14s like we've got on the uh, Ibiza, that'd make a, a decent difference to this. Yeah, he's got the uh, modified lights, UK headlights, the same as the City Go. He's not got the dark side in them because obviously he don't love us that much. Yeah, a few, a fair few stickers. All he's done all the bulbs and everything. That's why uh, the indicators flash fast. But we'll, uh, you'll see that when we get on the road. Yeah, tints and stuff like. That. It's, it's. I would say it's a standard car, but it's got a few touches. And like I said, these are, I think these are the best looking Fabias and I like the Abifas, like I've dealed in the Abifas for seven years, I like them, but if I had to have one of these, I'd have one of these as well, probably a little bit more practical as a family car, if you don't like your kids and you want to squash them it back, but they're definitely more practical than a free door. So anyway, we'll get it on the dyno, see what it does, and then after that we'll go on a road test. So, managed to get the Fabia on the dyno and... Uh, yeah, let's have a look what it's done. So, the 245, that's diesel only, which is going to really, really upset Bobby because that's like 15 horsepower more than what he's got. And then the green lines uh, with 50% methanol, which is a, about 40 more than Bobby. So, the torque curve, really, really nice torque curve. So it's a little bit later in RPM than you'd want it to be, but we'll get out on the road and, and you'll be able to see that this is not too bad. But 355 foot-pound of torque and nearly 400 foot-pound of torque with the methanol. Really do worry about the, uh, the gearbox. But, yeah, really happy with that. Can't wait to get out and drive it and see what it's like. It's the most power we've had out of one of these 1.6s. And yeah, it's, um, I'm pretty sure it's gonna go well. So let's have a look on the road. Finally out in Andrew's Fabia. See what it drives like. From driving Bobby's, this turbo and this engine is absolutely perfectly matched. Drives really good at bottom end. It pulls up exactly as you'd expect no problems, just feels exactly like you'd expect it to be. Obviously it's not, uh, it's not a totally standard turbo, so you've got to, uh, you've got to expect a little bit more lag, but when you're doing normal driving, you don't notice it, and when you want to geek some, just make sure you've got a little bit more revs than maybe you'd have on the standard turbo, it'll be absolutely fine. So fourth gear, 40 mile an hour, absolutely fine, fifth gear at 50, it's fine, put your foot down a little bit and you don't see a big cloud of smoke behind you, it just gets on with it a little bit, it's not the uh, it's not the fastest way of getting about printing fifth gear at them sort of RPMs, but pick it down a gear and let it have it. It's 
not slow for a long fourth gear pull. Not slow at all. Insane. Pulls all the way to the top to try and get a little bit of acceleration in the uh, in lower gears to see what it feels like. Definitely not slow. Plenty of power when you need it. It's not standard turbo territory, but three grand punch in off you go. Yeah, that's uh, not bad at all. Really happy with that. Let's see, where's the meth switch go? We're on while we're doing that. Yeah, it's big difference in smoke output with the methanol right at the top of the revs. Not too bad in the mid range, so you can uh, you definitely feel the extra torque with the meth on. Just punch it now. Still pretty good. Same. But yeah, noticeable difference with the meth. Obviously, if you're not screaming it round every time, you're probably not going to use a lot of it. But uh, it's got the number three nozzle in there that we do up to the number six. But the number six is for like a three litre Audi. One more hit. exhaust on this is just awful. Can't be dealing with that noise. <laughs> I wish it didn't have that downward pointing tip that a bit sharp on the end. That's, I think that's what's, what's making it so noisy. So that were a 6.8 to 60 which for a car like this, that's not bad. So it's, it'll be definitely in uh, double figures what these are as standard anyway, because they're not very fast. Especially when you get down to the 75 horsepowers. I'm sure Danny will uh, correct me when I'm normally wrong. So, I don't think there's anything else to uh, say about this, but I'm sure Andrew will be very, very happy with it drives absolutely perfect and if you don't want the extra smoke from the water methanol all you need to do is just put some uh, deionized or reverse osmosis water in there and that'll stop all the extra smoke you'll just get the cooling the cooling from the uh, water methanol so that's what it needs to do so anyway hopefully this video has been interesting I'd have enjoyed shooting a bit more if it didn't take so bloody long to do what we needed to do with it. It's been a bit of a pain. But we want this to be right. We always make sure we spend the time on these projects. Make sure as good as it can be regardless of how long it takes us. Probably like 30 hours deep in tuning this now and when you're only charging a few hundred quid. Not really ideal. But it is what it is. So anyway, I'm going to sign out. Thank you for watching. If you want to know what it's got on it, and you don't want to listen to me talking rubbish, look in the description and uh, there'll be a link to the website with all the mods and everything we've got done and all the graphs and everything. So, thank you.